The Sahil Anthropus chidensis specimen was discovered in 2001. At the site of Taurus Manala, in the Jurab Desert of northern Chad. The species name translates to human from the Sahil of Chad. The Sahil is the region of dry grasslands south of the Sahara Desert. The skull has been nicknamed Tumai in the Dezaga language, meaning hope of life. The location of the fossil material came as a surprise in that only one species of hominin had ever been discovered west of the Great Rift Valley of East Africa, was Australopithecus barulgazali. The remains are dated to 6 to 7 million years old. This is a key date as it is about the time that scientists believe the human line diverged from the ape line. The site lacked volcanic ash layers so was not suited to using radiometric dating techniques. Faunal analysis was used instead. The finds included several jaw pieces, some teeth and a small but relatively complete cranium. The femur was not recognized as possibly belonging to a hominid until 2004. As most of the diagnostic features are missing. The question of whether the femur represents a biped, or hominin, is extremely difficult. Relationships with other species This species' position is highly debated. Does it belong on our family tree or is it an ancestor of a gorilla or chimpanzee? If it does belong on our family tree, was it a direct ancestor or a distant hominin cousin? The discoverers claim that Sahelanthropus chidensis has numerous derived hominin features and is therefore the oldest known human ancestor after the split of the human line from that of the chimpanzees. If the remains are from a direct human ancestor, then the status of the Australopithecine group as human ancestors is questioned. The discoverers claim that Sahelanthropus chidensis has advanced features, such as a thickened brow ridge, that are more similar to those of later fossil homo and different from all Australopithecines. CT scans were used to rebuild a more accurate picture of the skull features of Tumai. Comparisons were then done with the skulls of fossil hominins, chimpanzees and gorillas. Using over 30 features, Tumai fell within the hominin range for all the features. Even if this species turns out not to be a hominin, the find would still be very significant as there are few chimpanzee or gorilla ancestors found anywhere in Africa. It would also be the best preserved of the fossil apes of this age ever found. More finds are needed in order to ascertain where this species fits on the human family tree. No postcranial remains have been found. So ascertaining whether it was bipedal a key element for inclusion on the hominin branch of the tree, is difficult. Key physical features. Brain. The lack of cranial remains makes estimates difficult but brain size is estimated at about 320 to 380 cc, similar to that of a chimpanzee. Body size and shape. The lack of skeletal remains makes estimates difficult. This species was probably similar in size to modern chimpanzees. Jaws and teeth. Relatively small canine and incisor teeth similar to Artipithecus. Cheek teeth are similar in size to Artipithecus ramatus and Australopithecus afarensis. Skull Rear of the skull has an ape-like appearance position for a man. It was suggested that it may have been bipedal. Although some experts dispute this interpretation. Scars left on the fossilized bones from its neck muscles suggest the species was a quadruped. But others claim that the neck muscles attached at the back of the neck in the same way as bipeds. Relatively flat face compared to living apes but much more protruding than modern humans relatively flat nasal are a long and narrow base of the skull. Environment and diet. The ancient environment where the fossils were found consisted of lake, forest, river, and wooded savanna. Thousands of vertebrate fossils have also been found at the site including elephants, giraffes, antelopes, hippopotamus, crocodiles, Lizards, monkeys, fish and wild boar. It is presumed that this species was probably a plant eater. 